Hi, you're watching the Weekly Technology Report by FinancialMirror.tv. iPhone's new sensation, the iPhone 3.0 operating system, has been out for some time now, and if you're still wondering if you should update your old iPhone's version to the new one, we'll give you enough reasons to do so. The new 3.0 gives the iPhone tons of new features. Some are brand new, others are just small little additions which will change the way you iPhone. Besides all the obvious features such as the forwarding or deleting individual messages, or the copy cut paste features when writing messages or notes, or the MMS ability and many more, here's some cool stuff that you might enjoy. You can tether with your iPhone. What does that mean? Well, internet tethering will allow you to access the iPhone's 3G internet connection on your laptop by using the iPhone as a modem. It will work through Bluetooth or USB. However, this feature is not yet ready by service providing companies, although they are working on it. According to iSmashPhone.com, there was an iPhone hack recently released that allows iPhone users with AT&T to start using internet tethering now, even though the company does not yet support it. Of course, keep in mind that you're doing this at your own risk. And also be cautious because you may get billed extra for it. Note that tethering will only work with the iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS, no older models. How to enable tethering? Go to Settings, then General, then Network, then Internet Tethering, and you're done as soon as you connect your iPhone to the computer. At last, you can now share contacts. You can email all the information for any contact in your address book with one click. Through MMS, you'll be able to share the contacts info via message. If you're like we are and a bit wobbly when it comes to writing a message, now with the new OS, when typing, hold any of the numbers on the keyboard and you can choose to write the number in a larger, different styled font. You can also view GIF images on your iPhone. When you receive a GIF file as an attachment via email, it will be displayed in all its semi-automatic glory. However, when you try to save the image, it only saves a still shot of whatever position the image was at that moment. Even though GIF images aren't all that common these days, it's still nice to know that your iPhone can handle them. Or as we like to put it, it's another brick in the wall. Another feature you might find useful with the new OS is that when you're running an application and it gets interrupted by an incoming call, the application automatically comes back to life after the phone is hung up. Note that the application doesn't restart from where you left off, but rather it reloads again. So if it's a game, answering the call will cause you to lose progress. Hope you found those interesting enough, but that's it for now. Tune in next week for another tech update by financialmirror.tv.